worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Computers, printers, cameras, fitness equipment, and even jewelry can be covered with a plan that offers repair or replacement should a failure occur. And portable electronics have accidental damage from handling, which covers unintentional mishaps like everyday drops, spills, and cracked screens. It's easy to add when you are checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. Discover the newest way to create a style all your own. The HSN Style Edit, a curated look at the season's best, most original finds for every part of your life. We decode the trends, share tips and how-tos, and give you the inspiration you need to style it your way. It's the joy of the hunt and the thrill of the find. Your unique style is here. Discover it now, exclusively at hsn.com. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Guy. We've got an hour in the kitchen, and I'm so excited. Listen, we've been listening to your HSN customers for years and years and years. You've been like, when are you guys going to get us a KitchenAid stand mixer? When will it be on HSN? Well, guess what? We finally have it here. The number one mixer brand in the world. About 100 years, this thing has been around with KitchenAid. It is amazing. I want you to listen to a little bit of the story behind KitchenAid when we come back. You get your chance to buy it, but start shopping right now. Here we go, the KitchenAid mixer. <laughs> In the nearly 10 decades that we've dedicated to deliver our premium stand mixer, there's so much that's changed. But at the core of what drives our products are the values, innovation, and purposes that haven't. The iconic stand mixer that inspired families to create memories across generations sits in a place of honor in the Smithsonian Institution Museum in Washington, D.C. as an American icon and still continues to inspire creativity and connects people and passions. The KitchenAid brand, delivering quality home appliances since 1919. How exciting is this that we finally have it here at HSN? And we've got uh, Marie Levesque is here with us. You've been with the company many, many years. Yes, I have. Uh, and I, I will tell you, everybody is a buzz about this uh, because we've all wanted this for many, many years. We're like, when is HSN going to have the KitchenAid uh, blender mixer? I've had, uh, I've been in the restaurant business before this for like 18, 20 years, whatever it was. There's not a restaurant that doesn't have these, and it's so wonderful that KitchenAid makes them for home use for as home well. Use. Uh, but but here's what I'll tell you, and really quickly, I'll give you the offer. We'll talk about colors, and then Marie is going to go to town. But there is no place out there that you can get this uh, Artisan Series mixer for $60 a month, which is what we're doing. We have it on FlexPay. It's only $60 to get this home, because I know this is a little bit of a considered purchase. It is worth it. You will have this the rest of your life. Your kids you will. will probably you will. have it the rest of their lives. So don't think of it as this big investment. Think of it as something that's going to help you. And if you love it now, <laughs> wait till holidays get here and you have this thing. But anyway, welcome to the show. It's so good Thank to have you, you here. I'm glad to be here. I'm, I'm so excited. Happy. So what do we got going on first okay, here, Marie? Let me just point out, this is the fresh prep. And this is one of our stand mixer attachments. It okay. will be on later in the show. And... Um, so I just want to show, we're making a carrot cake. I okay. want to show it in use, and then I'm gonna take it off and talk about the mixer, the yeah. artisan. Yeah. So we pop it off. Now remember, what just we, pop it right this off. is the power hub, by the way, which is which is where all your attachments go. And one of the things KitchenAid is known for is all the different attachments. There, You can put up to a dozen different attachments. So if you'd like to grind meat, if you, we've got the spiralizer coming up in just a bit. But that's kind of the this center is, of the power yeah, there. Yeah, so what's, what you're going to do is you're going to take your stand mixer and now turn it into your culinary center through the use of the attachments. Mm -hmm. And exactly anything that's powered right through the right. power hub. Pop the top on. You want to make sure you screw that top on okay. tight when you have when you have your attachment in there. Okay. So I'm going to shut it off. This is the Artisan. I love it. To me, it's the best of the best because yeah. it's um, 325 watts. It's a five quart capacity. Yeah. You can do a double batch, a single batch. So what I'm going to show you, people love this mixer because it has easy access to the bowls and beaters. It's a tilt head design. Yep. So we're going to. The bowl, and by the way, you obviously the bowl comes with it, and we'll go through the attachments that comes with it in just a sec. But I, what I love about it, I've always loved about the, my KitchenAid is 
it's it's a very simple machine to operate. You know, there are food press okay. processors out there that are very, very difficult to use. This one is very, very simple. Snap on the attachments, it's all you do. Add whatever it is and see how it tilts back. It allows you to do that. And by the way, when you look at these attachments, these are metal attachments. Yes, they, they are. They are a coated um, of stainless attachment because you need that weight and that to really get through certain mixes, yeah, right? Yeah, it's not plastic. You don't want right. plastic, you want metal. And they are coated because they're coated so they'll shed the product very easily easily yeah. and that way you can put them into the dishwasher. Yeah. Now our wire whip which is right here is stainless steel but we recommend hand washing for that. I love it. You don't want to make whipped cream in a couple of seconds you can do it and you know what's so funny Marie is I don't care which cooking show you love. I love all of them. I watch mm -hmm. them all. I don't care whether you're watching uh, you know if you watch Curtis or here or, or Ming or whatever or if you watch you know Ina and all those people that are on all the food. They all use the KitchenAid mixer. Why? Because it gives you the best results. Yeah, I think it elevates anybody's cooking. It does. It does. It will make you even for people that have never baked or have never cooked. Yeah. That it's a great introduction to that. Yeah. Great introduction. Now to we're that. incorporating all this stuff inside. We yes, we're making our carrot cake. Yeah. Right here. By the way, we also include with this the um, the pour shield, and that enables yes. you to add things like flour, messy stuff, and we'll show you that. That's right. How that works too. Sixty dollars get mm -hmm. yours home. Hey, um, Chris, should we go through colors really quick while we oh, have a chance? Oh, that would be great. Why don't we do that? And we'll put our colors up on the screen for you because another thing I love about KitchenAid is that you have every possible color you could absolutely dream of. What you're looking obviously is the red. A lot of people love the red because it goes with a lot of kitchens. It's one of our basic, yep. everybody loves KitchenAid. It also comes in silver. I love a green apple. I think that's the greatest color of all time. That and that yellow color. Um, it also comes in cranberry. There is boysenberry, which is kind of like a purple. It comes in red, which you're watching, called Empire Red. It comes in the black, which is onyx, if you want to get that color as well. And then the aqua sky is beautiful too, kind of a throwback color. That's also available. And then finally, it comes in, is there crystal blue? That's the last one, so two versions of blue. Here's the deal, uh, really quickly, because I know you have a lot to show. So okay. <clears throat> what we're doing is we're dropping the price by $50 here at HSN. Normally it's $2.99, and you know if you shop for this, that's about the price. Um, we are also including a $40 rebate. Um, so you get a mail-in rebate that, that also comes in. So that drops it down to $2.59, from $2.99 to, to $2.59. Um, and that's just, when you get it, it's a Visa card. Prepaid, they, they send you a card like a, about a month after you buy it. So you're gonna get that. Uh, price after rebate is $2.59.99. It's um, already, as I said, $50 off the $3.49, which is a, HSN's price. So they're including that 20% uh, off and a $40 rebate when you buy it today. Just pick the color that you want. That's All what you, you have do. to do. Pick your color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, What's next? What I want to talk about right here is planetary mixing action. And what, yeah, what that, is that? What's that all about? What is that? Yeah. That's what makes this so great. The engineering in this motor and the planetary mixing. So what happens is the shaft that holds the attachment goes in one direction right. and the um, beater goes in the opposite. So I just want to show what exactly that means. So what's happening is when that beater, and of course you would never do this at home with the head tilted back, yep. but when that beater is in the bowl, it's going to go around that bowl and hit over 50 points on it, give you that great mixing, Isn't great incorporation awesome? of so, the ingredients. Yeah, so you're not sitting there constantly stirring and constantly using your spatula and trying to get everything in. Right. And you can see when you look at it from above <clears throat> exactly how that works to incorporate all the ingredients. And I think, you know, if you're a baker and you bake, it is so vital that you get your mix done properly. You have to have, so you get a perfect end result. Yeah. And again, I want to point out tilt head. People yeah. love the tilt head, easy access to the bowl. Oh We're gosh. making a cream cheese frosting for our carrot cake, which this. we have right in front. It does it all. You know, that's one of the things I love. There's really not a, a mixing or incorporating job that you would do that this machine can't handle. <clears throat> one of the other things I really love about it, make sure you have your little top put on before you turn it on. <laughs> hey, that happens there. everybody. Here we got a happens to everybody. <laughs> now it won't do that, but hey, here's another thing I, I wanted to tell you is that I make I make stuffed clams. They're one of my favorite things. I'm oh, a New I Englander. Love clams. But you have to to do clams, you really they're hard to chop with a knife because they're squ they squirrely. This comes with a grinder attachment that you can get. So yes. if you want to make sausage or you want to grind things up, you can do that as well. All right, so we've incorporated some of our powdered sugar and flour in there. What's next? So now we have our dough hook. And the dough hook, we're making a tomato pasta dough here. And that's the wow. beauty of the different attachments and the different accessories. We're able to make pasta. We're able to make... Um, 
shredded carrots were able to spiralize through that use of the, the power hub. Yeah. So what we have in here is our flour, our tomato paste, mm -hmm. our egg, and we're just going to let that come together. Now, I, <laughs> as you see on the... Um, cream cheese uh, frosting, we yeah. were already up to a very high speed. That's why I got covered in fat. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. So, yeah, you, you know so. what? What's nice about this machine is you'll get it very quickly. Right. It's, it's not, the learning curve is not that big. It's like, okay, I get it. Um, any, because, because the other option is hand beaters, which nobody really, it's, they're, no. they're not really, listen, if you need to make a quick thing of icing, right. then maybe you're using it. But if you're, if you're really looking to use this, you need to use it for, for all your other jobs. So what I wanted to point out was we did need a, a high whip for a frosting. Now for a bread dough, yeah. you want the speeds are very important. Depends what you're doing. So for a bread dough, you want a slower speed, maybe two to four. Okay. So, but we have a use and care guide that comes with the stand mixer that will explain all that to you. So if you're new to baking, we have great resources. And it available. goes. How high does it go up to? Ten. Ten okay. distinct speeds. So that's really a, that's a real big key to how to utilize yes. this and how, uh, this machine and how to use it properly. Listen, I only have about 10 minutes to spend on this, and um, I want to remind everybody what you're going to get. So when you buy it, obviously you choose your color. In addition to that, you're going to get the five-quart mixing bowl. That goes along with it. We're just going to keep moving on and doing more demos. Um, it comes with a wire whip. Now, that's going to be to incorporate air to do things like whipped cream, maybe batters, things like that that you want to incorporate. But you also have the paddle. Um, that paddle uh, uh, shield or the paddle attachment also will do things like batters and doughs and stuff like that. Um, and then we also give you a manual that comes with recipes and, and everything that you could possibly need to utilize. So honestly, no better way. Take advantage. This this machine has been around for how long? Almost 100 years. How, who crazy. gets to say that? KitchenAid is going to be celebrating our 100th anniversary. Yeah. We're so excited. Oh my gosh, it's great. And it's an American icon. I love this. This is the green apple color. So I, I know a lot of people are jumping on board for this one. Look at that. Now let me just say, some people will say, I don't need a stand mixer because I don't bake a lot but it's not just about baking. You can do so much more through the, right. the, the attachments. And right in here, we're shredding chicken. So this is not baking, this is Oh my cooking. gosh, can you show everybody the chicken yes, too? Let's turn it off. That. So see, I would never have even thought to do that. And look, we'll take the bowl off. And Easy access to the bowl. Yeah, look, so now for, if you like chicken salad, no, we're a little cramped in here, but go ahead. Well, we got I'll a lot of reach. machines. We wanted to show everybody all the colors and everything. So, so now you can make enchilada, oh my you can gosh. make chicken salad, whatever your buffalo chicken dip. Wow. Awesome. All right, keep going. So I know a lot of people, like we said, I, I think people, when they look at this machine, the first question is, well, will I use it that much? When you get it, you 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 look for reasons to use yes, it. It's that good. Yes, and you know good. what? You should leave it out. Leave it out on your counter it's because like, then pretty. you will use it, and you'll yeah. use it every day. You'll use it morning, noon, and night. When I see this in somebody's home, to be honest, I always think somebody that probably knows how to cook or somebody that loves to cook. Mm -hmm. And the machine itself, it's so iconic. It hasn't really, this, the design style of it hasn't changed that Our much. Our profile yeah. is beautiful, right? Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. And, the, and now that they incorporate colors, it's perfect for that oh, as well. We're all about color. Yeah. And you can get your color here. You just have to pick what you want. You have yeah. to pick your color. But what I want to speak to you about here is this is a oatmeal s'more cookie. Very mm. thick, heavy cookie. Right. And you can do a single batch or you could do a double batch. And right in front here we have these cookies came out of the one mixing bowl wow see i like that you can do a lot in here you know i mean that, that's that's the thing that's wonderful is you can do a little or you can do a lot right and and with all the instructions that come along with it you're going to see that this is going to become your best friend and i said to everybody you know what's neat is by the time you pay for this if you take advantage of flex pay when you're done paying with it it's going to be november and you know once November comes, this thing, you're gonna be using this thing probably three or four times a week when you think about holiday. Obviously, uh, you know, we start with, with Thanksgiving and then we go all through Christmas holiday and then eh, there's just so much going on. And you know what, that brings up another thing. Like I know as a, as a young girl, my mom, we made cookies around the stand mixer, the yeah. KitchenAid stand mixer. It's become a tradition. People actually have parties. They get together and they'll totally. have a pasta making party. <laughs> yes, absolutely. All right, so much fun. We only brought in about 1,500, they're going quick. So if if you'd like to get it, and we were just talking about colors. That's the boysenberry that you're looking that at gorgeous? right there. Hey, I absolutely love it. It's like almost like a deep grape 
kind of a color, it. isn't it pretty? Um, and talk to us too, Marie, really quickly about, about the quality of the machine because what it's, I mean, it's pretty and all that, but what's inside? Yeah, it, well, it's gear driven, so there's no belts to replace or worry about. Right. It's got the um, engineering behind it. It's got the metal construction. It has the planetary mixing action, yeah. the power. So the Artisan is, um, to me, the best. It has the top power for a five quart. Yeah. It has the um, the bowl, the tilt head. It's it's the best of the best. It's everything. As far it, as I'm it really is. We are down to just about five minutes. If you would like to pick this up, we have all kinds of great attachments available on HSN.com if you want. But from you know from baking to cookies to to pie doughs to breads um, to salads to desserts to I mean it, it just goes on and on. Anything that you would use a hand mixer for, you can do a thousand times better job when you're using the KitchenAid mixer. Um, we have been trying to get this for years and years and years. Uh, we have partnered up, obviously, we're, we're, you know, we're on the same uh, uh, team with QVC, who's had this for several years. Yes, and yes. Was, we were always very envious of that. We're like, oh my gosh, when are we gonna <laughs> well, get the KitchenAid mixer? No more. You're well, right I'm here. a restaurant guy, so I appreciate it. But let me tell you, even if you're not a top of the line cook or chef, Get yourself one of these machines. It, it, it's like you know, use it's it like having sure. the best tools makes your job so easy. And that's it. You have to have the right tools in your kitchen, and KitchenAid brings that to you. Yeah. We bring you premium products that not only people need them, but they desire to have them. Yeah. People aspire to own KitchenAid. Like you said, it's the number one KitchenAid brand in the world, the stand mixer. All right, now, we're going to do a bread dough here? Yes, this okay. is a rosemary bread. And the pasta dough we did, so I wanted to show different ways you can use your right. um, dough hook. Yeah. So we're making um, a and, rosemary. And doing it by doing dough by hand is hard. <laughs> I tried it, I think, one time. This does the, the mixing and the kneading for you oh all in gosh. one. It, yeah. it really is your sous chef in the kitchen. All right, so uh, I knew this would happen. We're getting very busy at the end. Uh, and, and again, I know it's still $259, but let me tell you, you know, when you think about an oven, an average person on an oven probably spends $1,000 on their oven that they buy for their mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. You probably spend four or $500 on a dishwasher if it's a decent one. Mm -hmm. This is something for food that you eat every single day. This is for the holidays. This is for when you're having that special party. This is if you always wanted to be a better uh, cook or chef. This is the unit you buy, even if it's just for whipping cream. It is so great. And I think unlike a like a like a blender, a big blender, people are like, I don't like taking it up and out. Leave this leave out. Leave it out. Leave yeah. it out. It's metal. It is heavy. You want to leave it on your counter. As you can see, we're making all these different recipes and it's staying right where it's supposed to stay. Yeah. And here again we have that planetary mixing again where the speeds come into play. We're only on speed four. I'm gonna kick it That's up. How quiet it is too. I mean, it we is can quiet, talk. right? Not, I know blenders that are much louder than this. That's the gear system inside. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And that's what you had asked about the engineering and the motor yeah. does exactly what it is. So what we're doing here, we're using the um, wire whip. So we want air, we want to put air. So you use it for soufflés and meringues and yeah. whipped creams and, and frostings and things. So I'm gonna let that go and I'm gonna show you that where the planetary mixing comes in. Watch. So See how it's moving thing. around the bowl, not just in the center. Right. It takes place of like when you're hand mixing, moving the thing around. Could you all imagine over. doing yeah. that? Now, look at this. All right, so my producer Chris said we're going to put two minutes on the clock. Okay. Um, and there are, uh, if you like a color, I would not wait because these are going Get very quick. Color. Yeah. They're beautiful. They, you know, they really are. I remember back in the day when they were only available in a couple, and then all of a sudden, from watching QVC, I started. You know, I was watching their colors. I'm like, oh my gosh, look at all the colors they have. Uh, before I decided to get one, but it's so nice to have all those different options. Mm -hmm. But what you're seeing right there, explain that that mixing action for us. That's the planetary mixing action. The the shaft moves in one direction that holds the beater, and the beater's going in the opposite direction. So you're getting that back and forth mixing action. Love it. But look how great, and it's hitting all the points on that hole. And you have not once had to put a spatula in there. I mean, no. you can do that at the very end, I imagine, but whether it's a bread dough or you're making, are you doing whipped cream or you're, or you're doing the batters for cakes, whatever it is, you know, a lot of people, they want to take it to the next level right. and, they, and they wait on it and wait on it. This, this is a great opportunity. It's the first time we've ever brought this to HSN. It's the number one mixing brand in the world. All right, there's nobody else that comes close. I, when I look at this, I think of iconic brands. This, this is what this one is all about. Is this, is this mixer? 
you know. And let me just show you right here what we're going to have coming up, our spiralizer. Oh my gosh, yeah, we'll okay, I'm on. We have our spiralizer, on. and we oh. have a, a chocolate chip zucchini muffin, and we're spiralizing. Look, look at that. Oh, it's so easy, you have to be honest. Zucchini spaghetti. Oh look my gosh, look at that. This attachment, by the way, we're going to talk about in just yes, a moment. It's available. Uh, we are just about out of time here. If you want it, remember, this is the only place that you're going to get this on Flex Pay for $60. Okay, so you get it home. You can try it out. Uh, you're going to absolutely fall in love with it when you when you see how wonderful and how easy it is to use. We give you the, uh, the manual to go along with it. You get all the great attachments. It comes with a five-quart bowl. It comes with the dough hook. Huh? It comes with the wire whisk. And by the way, both the uh, dough hook and the paddle are both uh, coated um, um, steel. Right. Uh, or aluminum, I'm not sure which one, it is, but they're coated, coated inside. Metal. It's metal on the inside. Um, and they do that because they want it to be durable. And you really should, you don't want to mix with, with just plastic on the outside. That's a cheaper way to do it. This company doesn't cut any corners. So you get that as well. You get your choice of colors. You can see everything that we have here again. So whether you want, uh, you know, the, the two different versions of blue, we have it in that beautiful uh, pink color. We have the boysenberry, Sorry. green, green apple. Yeah. Um, we have it in black, we have it in red. All these colors are available. All right, where are we running over there? Okay, so we're gonna switch over. We're gonna go show you the spiralizer. Let's walk on over, Marie, while we'll do that. Okay. Um, and by the way, if you are buying KitchenAid today, um, we have up to 20% off. Don't forget about the 40% uh, or the $40 rebate that comes with the mixer too. So take advantage of that, getting your prices down. Um, one of the things, Marie, you told me is about that power hub. And that's like you said, that's like really the, the, the foundation of, of all the things you can, all the doors open up having that. Right, and that's what we have here, our spiralizer. It, now I have to be honest, in the beginning, and I first saw the spiralizer, I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't know about this. It is fabulous, it's so easy to use. We're doing our zucchini here. But what I wanna do is show you how to load it. So I'm gonna, Look at that, I'm gonna move this over. I'm gonna stop that I machine. I love that you're making space. And you could do that with sweet potatoes, you could do that with carrots, and right? And we're going to do that. <laughs> oh my gosh, apples, obviously. Apples, onions, so, potatoes. So what I'm going to do here, I just put in a peeler. So this spiralizer, what will it do? It will, we have four different blades. You can spiralize, you can slice, and you can core. So with the apple, we're gonna put in the large core slicing blade. I'm gonna put my apple right on. This is how easy this mm. is. You put it on. All right, there it is, and then give it a twist. Right, and I'm doing this backwards, so if yeah, you're having, yeah, if you're It'll doing be it easier at home. If you're doing it at home, it's going to be so easy. I'm dying to see easy. this. Yeah, why? Okay, so it, you engage it with the um, vegetable or the oh, fruit, Lord. and look, it's peeling, slicing, and coring the apple all at once. Do you know how long it would take you to do that? <laughs> I would buy it just for that, for making apple pies or doing like apple tarts and things like that. Look at how the peel is coming off. There's the peel at the bottom. Look at it, it comes off in one. <laughs> Look at this string. That's one giant. Look I could go that. all the way. I could walk out the door with that peel. And <laughs> Don't look at do the that. look at the apples. <clears throat> they are absolutely perfect. And so you could slice that in half and then you're ready for your pie. And right here. Onions. How about? Onions. She talked to me about attaching it again as it's not very difficult. It looked no, like it took no. you about two seconds to yeah. do that. If you want, we can come back here. Yeah, while well, we're doing the onion, let's go back to okay. one and show take me again. Take apple off and okay. you just take so it off. So that pops off. And the blade pops out. There it is. There you go. And then you just unscrew the near the hub to and that slides right out. That works the same whether you're using the meat grinder, uh, sausage maker. Right. Uh, Everything goes right into and the hub. And how many attachments are there? Oh, there's many, many. And they're all on hsn.com. Yeah. So you can go there and pick out your attachments. That, that's the part where you where you say, okay, it's not just for mixing. It's not just it's for blending. Not. It's a culinary center it, now. You will, if you really want to have fun, it, like, learn what this machine can do, and I am telling you, because I know, you know, as I'm looking at Amanda over there, all the people, you know, this thing, every <laughs> chef out there has to have their KitchenAid mixer, right? You know what it does. It, it's a shortcut to so many uh, things that you see, and you wonder how they do that in restaurants. Well, they have one they of have these the mixers. They have the right tools. Yeah. They have the right tools. Right. And they may have a big industrial one. What is it about the Artisan series that you love? I love the ease of the Artisan series. I just love it because I think it has everything. <laughs> <laughs> Look it's at amazing. you. amazing. 
Well, I'm just thinking, you know, if you wanted to fry these up, these are you like, there's could. a chain that makes these curly fries that are the that are the best ever. Uh, and I don't know if they do them with sweet potatoes, but they're a little bit healthier oh, for yeah. you. Sweet um, potatoes, any kind of potato. Wow. And here we have, we this the is the small core slicing blade. This is a cucumber. Look at that. It makes ribbons a cucumber. And look at the healthy. You're eating healthy. You're controlling <laughs> what you're eating. This is not, it's so easy. You saw me load and unload them. It's so easy. Uh, that's a really big deal because a lot of people look and they're like, oh my gosh, that's a professional model. I mean, it, let me tell you, you're going to be able to handle this very easy. It'll probably take you, within the first day, you're going to work all your kinks out and you're going to be like, oh my gosh, this is the greatest thing ever. Thank you so much for bringing this to us. Oh, we're so and happy to do that. thank you to, to the folks that. at KitchenAid for bringing this as well. Continue to order and get your favorite color. We'll be right back. we got more great cooking ideas for you. Stick around. Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Computers, printers, cameras, fitness equipment, and even jewelry can be covered with a plan that offers repair or replacement should a failure occur. And portable electronics have accidental damage from handling, which covers unintentional mishaps like everyday drops, spills, and cracked screens. It's easy to add when you are checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. Who knew a little piece of plastic could be so much fun? Now, when you apply for the HSN card, instantly get $10 off. It's all about you. Extra flex on the things you love. Now, when you use your HSN card, you get extra flex all day, every day, on all jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases. Plus, no interest VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, all with no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. There's so many things to love about HSN, but one thing that makes shopping here fun is FlexPay. Get it home now without the stress of paying all at once. Why pay full purchase price today when you can pay over time? Buy what you want now, pay it off later with your credit or debit card. FlexPay, it's that easy, exclusively at HSN. It's Project Central around here. With just a little imagination, some of this, a bit of that, the possibilities are endless. Whether you're just getting started or you know your way around a glue gun, we have the supplies and ideas to help get it done. Say Y-E-S to DIY at HSN. Outstanding. It's we, grill season. We were just uh, reacquainting ourselves with yes. each other. We have not seen each other in a long time. And, and I, you know, when Tim's around, it's always going to be something great. Uh, these are called the Yoshi mats. Maybe you saw the infomercial come out for these a year or two ago. Uh, and that was a little different style. They've, they've, been, they've got different stuff going on now. But let me tell you, and, and Tim will tell you this, if you are sick and tired of burning things, if you are sick and tired of your veggies and your fish falling through the cracks of your grill, you need the Yoshi mats because we're going to give you three of these. They are world-renowned now. I mean, the chefs are using them to, co to cook on because of their nonstick uh, properties and because it makes any barbecue a happy barbecue. Nobody wants to burn stuff. No, and nobody wants their $4 asparagus falling through or no. their, their $20 fillets of fish going through the right. grates. The beauty of these is they're not just the Yoshi mats anymore. They're infused with copper. Yeah, what does that mean? Well, like all those copper infomercials you see, and chefs love copper because it heats evenly and quickly yeah. with no flare-ups and no hot spots, and more than anything, no mess. And I'll show you in a minute when I cheese up these yep. burgers. So now, number this, one conductor of heat for cookware is copper, by the way. This grip That's and why. flip spatula, yeah. by the way, comes with it. Now, check this out, guy. You hear that sizzle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you're getting on that burger. But w when I cook onion rings, and even my 10-year-old Gracie loves onion rings, uh, the, the grilled onions. Yeah, they can fall through. They're going to fall through on this. Not so much. There is so much non-stick property, it's sliding all over. <laughs> I'm not going to burn the bun. Look at this. I'm getting the beautiful grill marks. Look at the grill marks yeah. on that bun. Let's go ahead and chef that up. Wow. Look at that. Now, that goes right through? Right through. Now, yeah, on this one, burn. I put that on well after the other one, and it burned up like I always do. The kids always get at me. Now, here's another thing you wouldn't do, guy. I wouldn't put grated, shredded cheese all over that, because you know why? Half of it's going to fall off and the other half is gonna make a massive mess all over my grill. Matter of fact, 
Check this out. You would never do this on a grill. I'm gonna put this right on the mat. You're gonna burn gonna it right on there. Burn it right off and you'll see how this slides all around. Essentially what this does is it turns any uh, grill into a griddle, which is wonderful because you still get the flavor from the smoke because it doesn't cover the whole grill, it covers the cooking area. And you're still getting it so hot and even it through, goes through, you're still getting the grill marks, yeah. the beautiful grilled flavor without the mess and without the flare. Yeah, there's no, your, there's, there's your problem. There you go. Right, and I, I mean obviously, I'm, I'm there, making somebody upset back backstage because like I got to go and pull those things out. There's 25 cents worth of good Bedelia uh, onion right there. Good crying right in Georgia. Yeah, and that's that's exactly. But look what at this is melting already, and I can just move that around, take a cloth, and wipe that away and be done with it. Now keep moving, guy. Yeah, buddy. I'm gonna take that off in a couple minutes. I have essentially over here been cooking breakfast for everybody. We'll put some more on in a minute. But you know what you can't do on a normal grill? You can't do the pancake. You can't make a pancake. So if you're no, a tailgater, sir. a camper, an RVer, you can't do that. I'll tell you what else you can't do. You can't take a farm fresh egg. Let's put that down and make a full breakfast. Up. Oh, look at that non-stick on that bad boy. <laughs> All right, we are incredibly busy. Remember, you get a three-pack of these, plus you get the little spatula to go along with it. Uh, you know, it's funny. When these first came out, I kept saying, yeah, but what if I, I still want to be able to get the grill flavor. And I, I got them anyway, and I was like, oh, my gosh, the smoke stays in there. The smoke is on the grill. You still get the flavor. You just don't lose anything. You don't get the, the hot dogs burning. You get, an even, you get even heat distribution with this now because with the addition of the copper, which is why, you know, copper cookware is so great. Everything cooks perfectly well. What do you got down on that Okay, one? two more things you would never do in a million years. You would never grill some beautiful wingettes over here. Yeah. And if you did, you sure wouldn't put buffalo sauce all over them and let that simmer and sizzle because you know what that would be? Not only a flare up from the oil that's in it, an absolute disaster inside your uh, grill. Now check this out, this steak, Look at the grill mark. Okay, look at the grill marks on the grill, right through, guys. See it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this steak is going to be stunning. I've made some mushrooms. Well, who doesn't love sausage and peppers? And look at the grill see, marks and on Tim, my sausages. The thing about sausage is, it's uh, you know, sausage nine out of ten times, unless you get the turkey or the chicken, it's got a lot of fat in it. And I don't. I've never cooked a sausage on the grill where I didn't have a flare up and it didn't blow up. And then you char the outside, and then it tastes burnt. It doesn't taste good. Look at the browning. On that Look sausage, at the grill that marks is a on it. perfectly cooked sausage, and it still has a smoky flavor. Look at the wings. Look at these wings here. Look at the wings. Now those are going to infuse all that beautiful. Look at that. Look at the brown oh, on yeah, those. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now if this was moved a little guy, you know what we'd be losing? What's that? Bro? Peppers. If we were cooking peppers on here, peppers and onions would be falling through here left and right. But we're not losing our peppers. This is a great way to be out in the park. If you, by the way, if you're a park griller, yeah. if you're out there, you know those probably haven't been cleaned well, ever. Yeah. And you're able to do that. Take these to the park. All right, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to work on your, I think your pancakes are ready. Check this out. May I help you? You couldn't do this any other way. Oh, I busted the egg. That's all right. Look at that. Look at the wow. grill marks. Look at the grill marks. That's awesome. On that cake. I'm going to hold this still yeah, for you. you. Ready? And I'll scoop that up. And I'll do the egg too. That looks like we're doing scramble. We are now. <laughs> well, you know well, what look, though, guys? You can scramble an egg. That is awesome, bro. You know, you know what though? These are uh, metal tong and metal uh, metal spatula safe. Right. So you're not going to scratch up the nonstick properties on these. That's a great little illustration wow. you just put. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is going to wipe clean in seconds. Matter of fact, yeah. when our wow. scrambled egg is done. Well, let's just show you. Yeah. So this will this will come right off. Oh. It's actually already done. So, but anyway, uh, and you can cut them to fit. By the way. Let's. Uh, matter of fact, that's a good illustration there too. <laughs> There's our gooey mess. All our right, guys. Mess. I'm going to wipe this off. Go Wait ahead. till you see what we do here. I'm going to make breakfast first. Let's set this out here and put okay. our burgers on it. Let's get this off here. So we'll put our scrambled done. eggs. Let's put our beautiful... I already cooked bacon. You we'll know get what, that from Tim, the back. What I, what I was thinking what I would love it for is um, when I do fish... I, I, I rarely do fish on the grill. I have to. I had to buy one of those cages to do it on because it falls through the grill all the time or it sticks to the grill. You can use this, so if you're doing salmon, flaky fish that falls apart. Salmon like this. Thank you so much. We need to get you another mat. Are we gonna grab, are you? You know what? Are you gonna just slide and put it on the side? Just Here's what I'm gonna do. Just stuff off. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put Wing this it. on here. Nice. Look at this, we'll put this over. Oh, let's put little, our, let's put our onion rings on there too, buddy. Yeah, how about a little help, too? You ready? Yeah, well, I'm gonna get this Not off Not my first there. time grilling, guy, I'll and tell I'm you that right now. Over here. <laughs> and we'll clear up a little space. You know what? Let me wipe that clean, as a matter of fact. Let me show you how easily that wipes off. If you're worried about mess with your grill. I'm gonna grab a towel. Ready? There it is right there. 
this is how easy they clean and they're dishwasher safe. Yeah, I was gonna say, can you use them over and over? Over and over and over. You see, this one was cut to fit so we could just illustrate. This is exactly half of a grill mat. Let's put this back here. And you ready? This is our beautiful piece of fish. This is what I've been waiting for right We're here. Gonna so put that. If you bought it for no other reason for this exact meal, if you like salmon and you like asparagus, right, or shrimp, look at this meal that we're doing and, and re reminding you, hey, listen, if you wanna get a little more grill flavor, you can always move off the Yoshi mat and put your burger on the grill and then put it back on, you know what I mean? So oh, you yeah. can use it as a little, almost a little holding station for stuff so it won't burn and so that it'll cook evenly through and that you won't lose any of that stuff through the grill grates. We are extremely busy. Which one am I? The ribs? No, guy, no, these are also baking mats. Yeah. You want to talk about non-stick and easy cleanup. Yeah. Ready? Best cookie mat ever. Yeah, I know. They're this amazing. is how non-stick they are. And you cut this to fit your baking tray. I make pizza constantly for the kids. Line your, your oven with this. Yeah. You want to line your oven with this? You won't have that pizza melted cheese all over the bottom of your oven trying you know, to use, oh. They sell these fancy uh, French baking mats, which are great baking mats, don't get me wrong, but they're like 20 or $30 for one. We are doing, you, keep in mind, you are getting three of the Yoshi mats and you can trim them. So if you have a toaster oven, and oh, you yeah. want to make it small, which is where I have mine. I never have to put foil on it ever again. I don't have to spray it because this stuff is that amazing. Now, um, and, and again, you're getting the cook. The cooking goes right through the mat. Now, if you had this ooey gooey baked mac and cheese, we cut this to line the bottom of our baking dish here so you don't have to spend 20, 30, 40 minutes. Oh, you put it inside. Soaking this. What? And scraping or trying to line the bottom with some kind of a cooking spray. Let's get it all out of there. You ready? Watch this guy. And then the mat is at the bottom. The so mat look. is at the bottom. We'll take that out. Look how clean that is now. I'm just gonna run that through the dishwasher. Yeah. I'll throw my Yoshi mat on, right in there. A little bit on the side. That's all dishwasher safe. And yep. off we go. If you're doing things like nachos, and you see we've got a plate of nachos here, right? Is there anything harder to clean? In fact, we always wind up throwing these pans away. You know these pans, right? We throw these away after like six months because they just get trashed, right? They're nice when you buy them. If you use a Yoshi mat inside, that 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 tray will last indefinitely because it's just a scuzz that gets on the inside from the nonstick wearing away. This will never wear away. And Tim, everybody tell them again. Now the old Yoshi mat didn't have the copper. Why'd they put the copper in? Because copper, chefs absolutely love copper because it heats evenly and quickly. And that's what cuts down on your flare-ups, your uneven cooking. People are actually, men and women are af afraid of the flare-ups as they should be yeah. for both safety and for the fact that it flares up when that fat comes off your food and burns your food. Right. Now you're getting even quick cooking. Let's get that burger off there I'm too, guy, while we're at it. And I'm gonna help you with some shrimp here. I just, I wanna. We can just put those on yes. and they're cooking already. And, and by the way, you can move the Yoshi mat to where the coals are, where they're hotter. So if we move that out and put this more towards the center where the coals are, you can see we're already starting to grill. Our shrimp are starting to cook here. Apologize for the various flies that are running in here, but we are outside. It's a real outdoor grill, so we've got some friends. <laughs> but anyway, um, all right, $17.95. Tim, I gotta run inside. Good I'm gonna you let guys. you take over <laughs> and hang out for the last couple minutes, but uh, it really is a great deal. Remember, you get three of the mats, plus you get the spatula. In my opinion, if you love to cook, whether it's outdoors or indoors, you gotta get these mats. Well, we'll see it a bit, but with three of them, that's what you're getting. You're getting one for the grill, one for the oven or toaster oven that you can cut to fit, and one to put in your baking dishes so that you don't have that mess. When you're gonna make this beautiful, delicious brownie, when you're gonna make a beautiful cornbread and you don't want it stuck to the bottom of your dish, when you wanna be able to grill outside and not burn every bun you put on there or have the sauce on your ribs drip through to the coals and create some huge mess for yourself, making grilling, it takes the fun right out of it. It's a beautiful time of year to get outside with your family, tailgating, camping. We wanna be able to do this without the mess. Look at these dishes that we've got here. You couldn't do this. I'm able to just pull this right out, serve it. Matter of fact, I'll pull it straight up. That's cooled by now. And now I've got a clean dish I can put straight in the dishwasher. These brownies, I just cooked a tray of these for the little one the other day. These will come right out now, and I've got a way to bake without the mess and still get that even baking. Now, I've got the fish I just put on. We've got these ooey gooey grilled cheese sandwiches we're actually literally putting on the grill that I just put on a minute ago. Oh, let's find a, way, a tactful way to flip this. Look at the grill marks. That's the heat that's coming through this right now. That is what you're getting. The beautiful results, boy, that is seriously gooey, team. Look at that. That's gonna be nice and crisp on the outside. We're gonna cut that in half and serve that to two or three people. That's massive, by the way. 
whoever made that sandwich. That is a very large sandwich. And when we come down here, we've still got all our beautiful outdoor grilled stuff that you can just dream about right now. Your beautiful grilled steak with your mushrooms, your peppers, these beautiful Italian sausages. Everything you wanna do now, I'm not losing this expensive food we're spending all this money on. The 10 and $15 pieces of fish, the $4 asparagus, $4 a pound, that should be meat. You don't want it falling between the grates and you don't wanna clean up a mess you don't have to clean up. These are so much fun and now with copper, they're even more fun to add the season. Your grilling season's gonna be even better. $17.95, Tim, thanks so much. Uh, this is our Yoshi Copper Grill Mats. They are brand new in this configuration if you wanna get them. Uh, you get three uh, for only $17.95, it's a giveaway. Get them, save your cookware, save your bakeware, buy the Yoshi Mats, you're gonna love them. All right, we saved something really special for the end of the show, and that is my favorite pressure cooker, which is the, uh, <laughs> they're putting the cookbook offer up. We'll talk about the cookbook and thank you, but yeah, there is what we're talking about, which is the pressure cooker. Uh, this is the four quart, the reason I love that size I think it's the perfect size. First of all, it's just me and Danny at my house, my son. And when I cook, I'm not always cooking for 12 people. Uh, you know, and, I, and don't get me wrong, I, I have a 10 quart. I just don't use it that much. For me, I know a lot of our customers are empty nesters or just living with your husband or your partner or your wife, whatever it is. Perfect size. What do we love about pressure cooking? Pressure cooking makes your food taste like it cooked all day, but it does it in a fraction of the time. There's no microwave technology here. This is just old school technology, but with modern features that you're gonna absolutely love. $69.95 is our summer price. Grab them while you can because they put it on free shipping for us as well. It's $17.49, I could talk all day, but I wanna get Stephanie Roberts up here because Stephanie is so good at, at demonstrating this in a short period of time, which we often have here at HSN, but, but that's what a pressure cooker does. Exactly, this is how you get the flavors like you have spent the entire day oh in the kitchen. Ribs. Okay, ribs, I know, guy, you're gonna tell me, low and slow for ribs, low and slow. Uh-uh, erase that from your mind. This is ribs in 40 minutes, okay? Because oh guess gosh. what? I don't have time every day to do low and slow fork. <laughs> I am pulling these apart with a fork. <coughs> so what I oh love about gosh. the Elite Bistro is I don't have to figure out that it's 40 minutes. I simply set the meat button. The digital computer brain takes care of all of it. And look at this. These are amazingly fall off the bone, gentle and sweet oh my ribs. Gosh. I know. And what did you do before that? You put them in the oven. I know you do for this. a couple of hours Fall on apart. low, right? And then you think you have to finish them on the grill. No, you don't. The Elite Bistro pressure cooker has it figured out that under pressure, we can take any type of meat, soups, beans, you name it. And because things cook quicker mm. under pressure, you get these slow cooked, slow roasted results. I am all about saving time in the kitchen. I have a lot of kids, I'm a working mom. Yeah. Weekends are busy with sports, but the bottom line is I wanna get home cooked food sure. on the table. Pressure cooking is a godsend. Now I have to remember, when we first think about pressure cooking, I think back to the days of growing up in the 70s and 80s. Right. Do you remember that thing that used to sit on the stove? Oh right? yeah, yeah, It was yeah. so tough. It it's would a little go, scary. <laughs> yeah. My mom would literally yell, out of the kitchen, out of the kitchen. I'm like, right. why, why? That <laughs> is not pressure cooking anymore. This is completely electric. It has a computerized brain and, and it does the work for you. Mac and cheese in 11 minutes. Okay. And I'm, a lot of mac. Don't think that four quarts isn't a lot of food. It's a lot of food. Oh, absolutely. Right. It's a lot of food. How much food do you ask? Yeah, look. Well, let's Are you pull her dump on it out. out. Yeah, we're oh going to give gosh. it a dump. Okay. Right. First of all, non-stick insert. So I am sliding right Right out. But think about 11 minutes for Look slow it. cooked quality mac and cheese. Right. I mean, if that doesn't feed a family Look of one, how six, much eight? food is there? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you can see it from the side. It's a mountain <laughs> of macaroni and cheese, and we didn't even scoop it all out. Exactly. I love, too, the fact that you have a nonstick uh, uh, bakeware uh, 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 pot inside. Yep. You just pop that out. You, you can stick that in a dishwasher or wash it really, really quickly. It's easy to clean. I also like the fact I'm coming with a glass lid because we're going to walk through all the different computer functions on the pressure cooker. Yeah. But one of the things is slow cooking, and I like to see what's going on in my slow cooking. So the fact that you can use a glass lid anytime you're steaming or slow cooking is a wonderful addition. And, of course, then the lid that takes everything everything else under pressure. But you think about the time you're saving. In the time that I can 
call and have a pizza delivered, oh my gosh. I can make an entire home cooked meal right here in the pressure cooker. And, and can't you even put like dry noodles in here too if you wanted to with liquid? We, that's how we did this. Is that what you did? That's what we did. Oh my gosh. We put in a pound of macaroni. Actually, that's two pounds of macaroni. We put in the two pounds of macaroni. We put in the water. We so put good. it under pressure. You release the pressure at the end and add the cheese and stir. Mm. 11 minutes from the wow. time it comes under pressure. Now, I want to take a little bit of a tour around the different functions because right. this is what sets the elite pressure cookers away from everything else. And by the way, this is the best-selling pressure cooker ever in HSN history. This is how well Elite does its job. This is the reason why. This is the brain of the pressure cooker. And what that means is you are not doing calculations about how long you have to steam and put your ribs under pressure, how long you have to do beans, how long you have to do pasta. One touch, touch a button. So in this case, let's do some chicken, all right? So I am going to take my chicken breasts here. Okay. I've got a breast and a, a leg. I'm going to go ahead and you could put more if you wanted. It would fit probably six or seven pieces. Absolutely. But <clears throat> on the other hand, I'm not cooking for a huge crowd, so I don't have to do that. See, normally I wouldn't even make this meal because it'd be too hard. You'd have to, you know, if you didn't oh, have a prep, right? Right. You'd have to brown the chicken. You have well, to do other. Do you know what? Time consuming. Yes. Not hard. Time consuming. Right. Because this was honestly, especially if you're a fairly adept home cook, you think, well, why do I need a pressure cooker? I know how to saute. I know how to make chicken yeah, and rice. But forever. do you know how to make it in 12 minutes? Yeah. No. <laughs> you can't do that without a pressure cooker. So I've got my saute function on here now, which gives me the opportunity to then go ahead and brown right okay. here in the pressure cooker. Because you don't always want to skip that step. Now, here's my favorite step. Rice into the pressure cooker Perfect. just like that because here's where it starts to get time consuming to make chicken and rice I would have to steam my rice right, right. And honestly good rice is hard to make on the stove it yeah. always sticks you gotta babysit It's perfect it. every right. single time in the pressure cooker add my vegetables Would you like to know how I choose what vegetables to add the ones that are in the fridge? <laughs> you know, I mean we got peas, got? we got peppers. We got olives. We got what we need, right? This is All kind right. of a Spanish chicken I went ahead and used a yellow rice mix because the seasonings are already in short cuts are okay because because the sure. end result does not show I a live shortcut for shortcuts, was taken. Don't give you, are you exactly. Me? Okay, now one very important thing to know about pressure cooking, if you're new to it, is that you do always need a liquid. Right. So in this case, I'm using chicken broth. Honestly, when I do things like make my mac and cheese, I use chicken broth for that as well because it just adds to the flavor. So everything in, I could be sauteing my chicken while this works, while it gets ready, and then I line up my arrow where it says open. Again, this doesn't get any easier to put together. Lock it. And I go to lock position. That is all you need to know about the lid. Now, I do have a pressure valve in the back. I always set that to air tight when I'm about to cook. That means I want my pressure cooker to become air tight. Right. So now I'm ready to push the button to cook my chicken. So once I push the chicken button, you'll see that I have a s coming under pressure is what it's getting ready to do. And for 12 minutes then, it will begin cooking. Oh. 12 minutes later, your dinner is done, the pressure releases, and you are good to go. Oh so we'll gosh. fast forward wait, 12 minutes. Wait till you see this, gang. And take a look. <clears throat> now, when I tell you that all I oh, have to do. Doesn't that, you smell that? You smell the spices? Oh my God. All I have to do is walk away because on its own, look at, look at my rice, look, look at, at my it. vegetables. Look at the perfectly rice. Steamed, oh, perfectly steamed, perfectly looking wonderful. And look I am good to go. It. Oh, look Dinner at the rice. done with minimal and effort. And when you fluff that up and you taste the flavor. Ooh, I like the little caramelized bits. You like the little bits. crunchies you get Those on the edges there? Those are my favorite. There. Yeah, at the bottom. And the chicken, by the way, is perfectly cooked and it is so moist. Why? When you pour liquid in here and it has nowhere to go, it goes into the food. It goes back into, so does the air pressure. It goes back. That's what breaks down the tougher cuts of meat, which is why exactly. you can do like a pot roast in here in about a tenth of the time it would normally take. A pot roast will take you three to four hours. Absolutely. If you try to cook it in an oven, well, not to mention. To, you have to cook the heck out of it, yeah, so yeah. it's not well, something not, you chew for a week. And the money it costs you to run an oven for that long to cook it. We're doing everything under pressure, which inc which decreases the cooking time dramatically, but it increases the flavor and in most cases the nutritional value because nothing is escaping. With it the goes vegetables. into the food. Correct. The exactly. If you steam vegetables and then drain the liquid, you're washing away the liquids. When you do it in the pressure cooker, as Guy mentioned, the nutrients, the minerals, the vitamins, they are all That's staying so with good. the food. I love the fluffy rice. That's my favorite part. Oh my and gosh. again, I'm not sauteing on the stove. I'm not draining rice from mm. the liquid from the 
rice. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times I know people, especially when you do something like the rice and the chicken and you pour in the liquid, you think, isn't it going to be soupy? No. no. Look at this. It's Absolutely so good. every bit of liquid gets yeah. reabsorbed. Yep. And I have the flakiest rice ever. And Guy is exactly right. That little caramelization on the on edge. On the bottom is my favorite. Mm, that's I look, the good well, stuff. It just so you, so you know, it does get hot. You know, that's what this machine does. And it'll caramelize things for you. You can do breakfast, you can do lunch, dinners, souffles. You can do anything inside. You can bake cakes in here. You can do it all. And what the deal is, is it allows you to cook things that normally would you'd only do on Sunday. Right, yes, because because right. Sunday you got you got four hours to cook. Maybe. Exactly, maybe, yeah. And if you can, then that's when you do it. You could do this when you get home from work. Absolutely, pork roast in 50 minutes. All right, and I got to tell you, I ran a fun test on this the other night, and it was late at night. It was 10 o'clock at night, and I thought, man, I'm working a lot this weekend. I need to leave something for the kids and everybody to eat at home. I threw in a pork roast at 10 p.m., ran some laundry, and it pulled out at 11, cooled, and now my family is eating wow. pork roast while I'm working this weekend. So in 50 minutes, I have a pork roast that with a fork, I can do some shredding while this is cooking. Again, pretend it's a weeknight or pretend it's Saturday afternoon as it will be here. And you've got baseball games, you've yeah. got soccer games, but you want to get everybody home and have a good meal because you know, you don't want to spend the money to go to a restaurant all the time, especially if you have a large family. Pressure cook that. while you're gone in less than an hour, and then you come home to gorgeous meat that is ready to go. Get now, that slider. if you what? want it more done, you run it for a few extra minutes. Yeah. Because not only do we have the digital brain that tells us what needs to be cooked, you have the option of doing manual settings. And I like that, because sometimes I know I might have really bought kind of a rough cut of meat at the butcher, and I know that I'm gonna want it to cook for another few minutes. You're gonna barbecue that one, yeah. I like that. There we go, a little aioli, a little barbecue. Look and I am good to go. So sliders for a gang, no problem. Remember, this may be the four quart pressure cooker, but yeah. that does not mean you are getting capacity. I mean, I'm pulling out a four pound pork roast. You could do meat, meat, uh, meatballs in here and you'll be the most delicious meatballs, Swedish meatballs. Does this have a keep, more, a keep warm feature yes, too? I'm just curious does. because Absolutely. I know the one I have does yep. and I use it for holidays so you can cook and then it keeps the food warm so people can serve themselves. So if you're doing like buffet style, it's perfect for that as well. Listen. $69.95 is $20 off today. I think it costs, what it costs to ship? It's like five, six, seven bucks to ship, right? That's not, no charge today. So $69.95, all you have to pay, look, it's $11 to ship, so excuse me. 160 people just picked it up. I am telling you, if you don't know how to cook, I'm convinced that a pressure cooker makes you a better cook. Exactly. And as we get into graduation season, wedding season, you know, yeah. lots of people moving, starting lives together. And it's okay to feel insecure in the kitchen because it's intimidating, right? And a lot of times you see things on TV and you're like, all right, well, it looks great when she uses it, but how am I going to know Can how to I do, do it? it right. This could not be easier. The recipe book is wonderful. There is an amazing online community for pressure cooking. All you do... Oh, yeah, and I have the cookbook, too. Yep, and you can pick up a cookbook. All you do, honestly, is pick up the ideas that you can get online or from the cookbooks, and you're good to go. You put the food... <laughs> you got so much in there. there there's so much in here, I haven't decided how to get it out yet. So, so what we did, we did sort of a... Uh, a shrimp, seafood boil. A seafood boil yep. in here, right? A shrimp and boil. potatoes and shrimp and corn and, oh, my gosh, and all kinds of delicious food. And I, I can't emphasize enough why the four-quart is, is my choice. Um, again, because you can cook for a couple, you can cook for several. Exactly. It, the choice is yours. When you buy a big, giant one, I'm not telling you not to do that because we have those available, too. Um, you know, you, you might not use it as much if it's if you're just with you and your husband or you and your wife, right? Well, it may be a hassle to get out or Sometimes. it's hard to store. Yeah, it's great to know. have during the holidays, but this Good one this one is like the Goldilocks sort of a size. By the way, yep. I want to show everybody the cookbook, if I may. And I would get this in a heartbeat because what this does, you know, a lot of people want to pressure cook, but then they're like, well, can I do this in it? Can I do that in it? What, 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 do, how, do the, how do the recipes translate into right. pressure cooking? Right. This book gives you so... I'll try to hold it so Prince can get a good shot of it. There we go. This book gives you so much step-by-step -step with photographs. Look at, the, look at the wonderful stuff you get here. Chicken dishes, beef, pork, veggies, seafood. It is loaded. It is called uh, Delicious Meals Made Easy, utilizing your pressure cooker. There's the sliders that we did. Um, and I, I will uh, go for it. It really it really comes in handy. You got the one-two punch if you got them both. Absolutely. And yeah. there's so many ideas online, you will never wonder what to do. Here's what I want to show you with the shrimp boil. 
10 minutes and look at this potato. Ten I minutes. am able to cut oh. it in half with a fork. 10 yep. minutes. I cannot boil the water to cook potatoes on the stovetop right. in 10 minutes. But yet I can put it all here from the time it comes under pressure. It is 10 minutes to go. As the machine comes under pressure, you see the circling dial. When it is under pressure, you see a P. But the bottom line is it does it all by itself. I do want to show you this because I like this feature got too. Something it's got a there. nice lid stand because a lot of times, you know, you get pieces and parts and it all just yeah. seems kind of awkward. I serve right out of this because it is absolutely gorgeous. I have a lid stand and not only is this something what cheesy. What the heck did you make in there? Okay, we are coming to Is that lasagna? That is lasagna. Oh, and listen, Stephanie. we are about to the time of year where I'm not running the oven unless I have to. I'm just not. I don't want my kitchen heated up. Somebody asks for lasagna and my first thought is, okay, people, that is an hour of oven time. Literally, oh, the yeah. air conditioner will not recover for the you rest of the day. You could layer this right in there, right? Absolutely. Is that what you do with the, with the pre cooked did. noodles? Okay. All I right. didn't use pre-cooked noodles. You can do these from raw noodles. Oh, Seven yeah. minutes. Look at this. Look how amazing that That's is. You have to wrong. try this. All right. I'm going to give you this one wrong. with a clean fork. You absolutely need to give that a try. Yeah. I'll get another a, piece give out. Give a larger piece next yeah, time. Yeah, you want so. a little bit more? All right. Oh, so maybe for right, four quarts, you don't have to divide it into fours. All but right, look at that. This. I mean, seven minutes for lasagna from the time it comes under pressure. Again, you've got the liquids. Isn't that insane? I feel bad because sometimes I don't Dude. make things in warm Ooh, weather. There's no, something spicy in there, got too. Got a little kick. Got that a little is. Because you don't want to run the oven. You don't and have I'm, to. I make lasagna. How long does it take you? I, I, exactly. It's a pain in the you know what. I do know what. And I know and I because. It? <clears throat> and you do it because your family loves it. Well, and I make a lot because I freeze it. Exactly. <clears throat> but, but it is a labor of love. Because you got to cook the noodles, you got to make the sauce, you got to add everything. And then the cleanup is a nightmare. This has a nonstick um, vessel inside. Yep. Take it out, wash it right out. This is one of my favorite things that you guys make. Okay, so this is... Is this the, the chicken and dumplings, this is right? This the chicken and dumplings. And this is done on the slow cook function. But yet, there's nothing slow about it. In 20 minutes... Look at the yummy soup yeah, you that know comes I'm going out. There. Oh, you absolutely have to go here. This is comfort food at its best because, yes, pressure cooking is an old fashioned way of what cooking. But heck? look at the chicken. Look <laughs> at those pieces of chicken. And I don't even look do at, this first on sauce. Hold it right here so, yep. so you guys can get a good Show shot of it. the chicken. So, and the dumpling. Um, and, and you have tricks. By the way, this this dumpling, isn't this just, isn't this just like... Um, it's a biscuit. It's a biscuit, Shh, though. Don't tell anybody. Yeah, I'm telling everybody. <laughs> okay, so here's the best part about pressure cooking. Let's just lay it on the line. There's a lot of cheats you can use, and it's okay. Because the point is mm. to put food on the table for your family, to save money by not going to restaurants, to save money by not having to buy fancy cuts of meat because you're not sure mm. that the meat will be soft and gentle and great to eat otherwise. You can buy the cheaper cuts. The this pressure makes them soft and gentle. You can put store-bought biscuits on top of your chicken and dumplings. Your mother-in-law will never know. Do you know why? Because they're so soft and so delicious. Buy the pressure cooker. <clears throat> I'm talking to you out there. Where are you? Right there. Buy it to make that dish. <laughs> that is yep. the chicken and dumplings. Yep. Is so good. You know, this is a big southern thing, and everybody's proud of how they make it. You go and you buy the cream of chicken soup, you get some roasted chicken from the deli, exactly. you throw it in a pot, throw now it in there, talking. throw the gravy in there, and then you just lay those dumplings, those little biscuits on top, and you close it and you turn it, you hit the on button. When and it's it comes amazing. out, and, the, and the, the dumpling is infused with chicken flavor. Yes, and it does not taste like it came from one of those cans, and it Rest, did. This is like gourmet restaurant, restaurant quality. quality yeah. Pressure cooking makes you a better cook. It makes putting dinner on the I table put it down. so much easier. Anything you oh. do here is quicker than ordering takeout. You're saving tons of money, and you're making it at home. There is nothing wow. to be scared of. These are electric with a smart computer brain at this point in life. They do not sit on your stove. They do not rock back and forth and make scary noises. But you know what they do do? And look at this nonstick pan perfectly releasing a pineapple upside down cake. So this is absolutely one of that. my favorites. Oh my gosh. You can bake in this. This is done on the steam function. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half so you can see that we are cooked absolutely all the way through. But again, somebody wants dessert in the summer, I am not turning on my oven to bake a cake. I'm just not. It is just too hot for the house and too hard on the air conditioner. 20 minutes in the pressure cooker and you have dessert that. on the table. There's nothing you can't do. You are in love with those well, dumplings. Well, I, wa I wanted to do something because this is the key to this to show you this dumpling. So I don't know if you can get this shot. I'm going to cut it. 
This is, now you, you wanna say, is my dumpling cooked perfectly? <laughs> Stephanie, now I'll cut it in half. When you open this up, do you see that dumpling? Do you Ooh. see the air inside there? This is so Fluffy incredibly light. light and fluffy. And look, and oh, and here's the thing. How long did it take you to put this together? Put it together? Yeah. Uh, four minutes, maybe? <laughs> I mean, I, I hate to say that. And but soup, chicken, you know, open biscuit oh my can. I ate another dumpling. Yep, set the pressure and off you go for 20 minutes. So your options wow. are endless from dessert to dumplings to lasagnas to the oh. large cuts of meat that we traditionally think about when pressure cooking. What about beans? So much cheaper to buy them dry, yeah. so much better. You don't have to soak them with pressure cooking. You right. throw in the beans, you throw in the liquid, you hit the bean function, and off you go. Remember, everything programmed in the computer to one touch cooking. This is where the brain is. You don't have to figure it out. You don't have to know what the pressure should be. You don't have to know the cooking time. One touch cooking, everything here figures it out. If you want to go rogue and do something different on your own, there's a manual function. You can do it all. Pressure releases safely. Elite has made this so easy to make great food and I'm saving money. Yeah. Every one of the things that you made here would take at least at least an hour, in some cases three, four hours. Absolutely. All this stuff was done in a matter of minutes. Some of it in as little as five or ten minutes. That's how fast you can make these dishes. So if you love all these things, but you're afraid to cook them, you don't like to do barbecue, you don't want you want to be able to do ribs in the winter, you can still do them when you have a pressure cooker. I love it. And I also it's your best friend during holidays. Oh, yes, it Shortcut is. Shortcut to making dishes, the best uh, the best mashed potatoes you ever had, soup, stews, all that stuff. Stephanie, you're amazing. Thank you. A lot of fun. I know that's uh that's a a lot of different demos in a short period of time. We appreciate it. Hey, if you'd like to get this for $10 cheaper, how about $59.95 with an HSN credit card if it's brand new and you get approved, which 